Hello guys, today I have some karma content for you, which uh, I personally find really juicy. So I tried to farm some AP today, and literally in my first game I get hunted down by this guy, a guy called Hunter of TTV Names. Um, he kills me uh, after like a 2-4 to four minute exchange. Uh, I tried to not give it thought, but he PMs me nice running, uh, get gapped. Uh, to which I responded gear gapped only and then he's like okay only, even with gear you would get gapped by is coming people who have gear fear blah 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 I mean I don't I don't really care about his rant then he's like you're as good as your YouTube channel Europe is kind of bad to me it feels like he's trying to farm some content so I just say you are just baiting it's obvious and he's like baiting what response response from Europe nah too boring so you know, you can insult my skill, you can insult my YouTube channel, but at least be humble. He seemed really hockey, you know, you, you killed me, GG, enjoy the profit. But you have, you know, you, you have to spit on me, uh, spit on Europe, stick it in my face, I'm not gonna accept it. So what I did, I proceeded to build a magic damage reduction kit, because this was a melee lock with uh, Blow of Corruption and... Um, what do you call this? Frostlight Crystal Sword and uh, Legendary Lightfoot Boots with uh, add move speed, stuff like that. It was like a 10-15k kit he had. So I built uh, a kit which has 47% magic resistance. And also with this buckler you would have like around 60 and then with barricade like 65, something like that. Uh, and I went to hunt down this warlock because I was just hoping that he would play. So here's how that went. So, my first encounter was against a wizard, so an opportunity arose to try out my kit and I was soon reminded who are actually the bosses of the dungeon right now. Um, but I did see this, this as a learning experience, so the wizard was kind enough to give me my kit back in exchange for a whole full gold coin bag. I made slight adjustments, so I had initially an adventurer tunic taunt and a sword, so I took a rondel dagger, ornate jezernaut, second wind, and I also changed my gloves to have magical resistance and vigor. <coughs> so around one minute into spawning, I am mentally manifesting this warlock to spawn into my game. So I thought to myself, I am going to the place where he killed me, and finally, who do I encounter? The NA import himself. Hunter of TTV names. It is, he has a very clear, distinct look. Frostlight Crystal Sword, it's a melee warlock. So I know it's him. I already know it's him. And, you know, I am 100% locked in at this point. I'm not letting this guy kill me twice. Also, it feels, you know, it feels just so poetic to, uh, to let him test the claim. But he said, even if I'm geared, I'm not gonna get a chance. Also, in our first fight, the mistake was uh, letting the Warlock use a heal shrine, so here I fixed that mistake before our fight even started. So, what did you say, Mr. Hunter of TTV names? What did you say? Even if I'm geared, I die, uh, you will gap me, uh, blah blah blah. Just stay humble, stay humble, don't stay in your lane, okay, bitch? Okay, I'm kidding, like, uh, I don't I don't have any hard feelings towards him, I just feel uh, justified, vindicated, and, you know, I have this uh, massive karma ice cream. Um, and how do you think he reacted when he got killed? Do you think he accepted his defeat, stayed humble? No. I have ESP and it's such an amazing feeling to get accused of cheating. Like I I don't okay, no one's no one's gonna post a video of me. Like if you I mean after like all the all the recent drama I don't think anyone will try to do that again. Like I think it's like a learning lesson for everyone, but hey in my head this is content. This feels great. I love getting accused of cheating. I've said this plenty of times before and uh yeah, free content. Sadly, didn't get the part where I died, didn't get like the whole villain story arc, you know. Um, kind of wish I could have included that, but yeah, it is what it is. Sadly, sadly I wasn't recording. And it kind of brings it to my next point. Um, counters exist, gear gap exists, skill gap exists. That's why I hate the questions like, who is the better player uh, or stuff like that. There are usually so many variables in this game that you can never... Um, 
you can never almost that you can almost never truly answer this question. Um, I was hoping to prove a point to this warlock, uh, but he refuses to acknowledge it, which is fine by me, but yeah, he should take his L, that's all. This is his kit right here, uh, every single piece. Uh, it's around 14,000 gold if everything gets hold. I'm just going to slowly hover every single piece, and if you wish to do so, you can pause. So, with the conclusion of this video, um, hope you got even even slightly as satisfied as I did from this encounter. And um, yeah, and let me know down in the comments what do you think about gear gap and the impact of gear gap in this game. So with that, goodbye, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, kisses.